uh, we're moving ahead with this, uh, this first session on the European Green Deal thematic group. We're really reflecting on the increasing importance and attention that's being paid to these environmental aspects of uh, rural development. The CAP is, is a really important policy lever and source of financing to help steer the EU's rural areas onto a more sustainable pathway and meet these um, Green Deal objectives. It's the main source of funding that we have for land-based rural activities and so it, it plays a really key role in achieving um, the Green Deal objectives um, related to agriculture and forest activities. Um, and particularly in relation to um, achieving the climate and environmental outcomes required, but also doing that in a way that helps improve economic resilience and the social viability of rural areas and communities. And I think it's also important that we look at the bigger picture and see the interlink interlinkages and connections between the Green Deal objectives and strategies looking beyond just land but also thinking about supply chains and rural urban interlinkages for example and that's um, thinking about collaboration thinking about joined up thinking innovation advisory capacity capacity and so on there really are a lot of tools in the toolbox which member states can use and we hope very much that they will be used um, imaginatively the exercise of recommendations will help to create a stronger link uh, between future cap strategic plans and the Green Deal. Climate change is very high on our agenda, uh, not only because of the expected rise of the level of the sea and the rivers, but also because of the fact that the level of the land is decreasing by one to two centimeters per year. What we would like to see from the Green Deal is uh, somewhat more transparent and fair support for the business sector. No. We sell all the products directly, which means that we get really a good price. And we leave from one hectare of vegetables and strawberries, if you can imagine this. With regard to the objective for, uh, for organic farming, but also for all the other European Green Deal um, targets and objectives and the, the farm to fork and the biodiversity strategy, um, it is not just about uh, the, the, um, uh, the single farmer, uh, but it is about bringing together the community to work together and bringing together when it comes to organic farming also the consumers and raise awareness on what, what the benefits are for the rural actors in, in achieving such a target. To deliver the targets, we were talking about pesticides and um, nutrients. Cooperation was essential and practical examples, I suppose, to demonstrate what was possible. And the design of interventions is, is critical. It's how you target those um, and also then the metrics, how you measure whether they're delivering is, is really important. And that's something where some exchange of information would be, would be useful. And in fact, one of the managing authorities said really, you know, what would be helpful out of the thematic group is concrete, concrete suggestions of what to actually do to demonstrate that there are economic and social as well as environmental benefits to what, what's being proposed. When you think about cap interventions, we should address sustainable agriculture from an energy perspective. Uh, it has to contribute to reduced energy use in the agricultural and forestry sector. On the one hand, it has to contribute to enhanced use of renewable energy and it also has to contribute to production of renewable energy by the sector. Uh, plus, it doesn't hurt. Actually, it's a big benefit and it's a big advantage if it also involves diversification of production and increased income for the producers. We have prepared a little poll to see with you what, what uh, preferences you have in terms of further topics for the thematic group. If we choose as a topic for the TG, fully sustainable agriculture and forestry practices, it gives us an opportunity to also discuss uh, reduction of pesticides, reducing fertilizers and nutrient leakage, uh, extending organic production, a clean energy package and rural areas. Advisory services, information, knowledge exchange definitely are within this. What I've heard a lot today has been the preference for uh, real life examples and also concrete suggestions for man managing authorities, for the people involved in the CAP strategic planning, but also in the implementation phase. And it should be something that 
can be used in one way or another that you can build on when reaching out to the more grassroots um, rural stakeholders. So we thank you very much for your participation today. So you will soon hear back from us and today's presentations will be uploaded uh, on the event page. Mm -hmm.